Hello, everybody. Let me turn my volume up. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> hey, everybody. How's it going? I'm Maddie, and I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Welcome. And I am going to turn you guys around, so hang out for a second so you can see me the right way. There we go. And now I'm going to brighten up the screen. There we go. Oh, let me turn the light on. I'll be right back. All right. So tonight, today, this afternoon. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Hey, Kim. Hey, Shauna. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to work on some tea towels um, that I got for not real cheap. I just grabbed three because they were in front of me. Um, but we're going to put some autumn designs on it. So we're going to use the Autumn Skies and Pumpkin Pies um, A-Size Transfer. And on one towel, we're going to put Autumn Skies with the pumpkin. And on the other towel, we're going to say we're going to put Pumpkin Pies with the pumpkin. And then on the third towel, we're going to use the... Hey, girl, how are you, Stephanie? Haven't seen you in a while. Um, and on the third towel, we're going to use the um, pumpkin and we're going to use the fall leaves. Now, this pumpkin is from the bee, what is it from? Beware, no, not beware, harvest, 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 the harvest sign. Oop, sorry, wrong way. So we're going to use the pumpkin. So we're going to do three to towels today and we're going to be using our ink. Who's that looking? Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so nice. All right. Hey, Dolores. How's it going? Hey, Patty. How's it going? Everything go okay with the surgery? Hopefully. Good evening. I know it's afternoon for us, Dolores, here. So I'm just going to wait another minute or two and kind of get situated. I already used um, our sticky mat, which I'll show you. So this is our sticky mat. Unfortunately, they are not in stock right now, but they do have something very similar to it. You can get them online. Um, they're just a sticky piece of plastic cardboard stuff that when you put your in, put your um, your garment down, your, your bag, your t-shirt, whatever, um, it's not going to move on you. So I also took these and I ironed them kind of um, just with my regular iron just to get some of the wrinkles out and then I'll wash them and things like that later. You've been really busy working. Oh, well, there you go. You got to work, right? Patty, Patty, I see Patty, Kim. Okay, I think I'm caught up with everybody. Thanks for sharing, guys. Oh, I just said the wrong word. Thanks for sprinkling, guys. <laughs> hey, Mars. Long time no talk to. About three minutes ago. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use Autumn Skies on one towel, Pumpkin Pies on the other towel, and then the pumpkin from the um, harvest sign. So welcome everybody. Sit back and hopefully this is gonna work out. <laughs> so we're gonna do the autumn skies first and I'm kinda just using, using the guide from the middle of the towel. And of course you wanna make sure it's straight. And we're gonna be using ink today. Um, I gotta get used to not saying tonight. Uh, we're going to be using ink instead of chalk paste because on a towel or a garment bag or a t-shirt or what else could you use it on? Um, towel sheets, table runners, anything like that. You want to use the ink so you can heat set it with your iron or an easy press and then you can wash it and uh, use it over and over again. All right, so I put this down and let me just tilt this just a little bit. Okay, hopefully you can see this. And I am going to use, I need to get a squeegee out. Hold on. All right. Most of these spots are gonna be, I'm gonna use my multi-tool because they're smaller, smaller spots. And I've gotta kinda get in between here, so we'll see how that goes. Um, for the word autumn skies, I'm, go I'm not going to use the and. 
So I was gonna cover that up. So I'm just using paper tape to cover up things that I do not want to have chalk paste go through. Let me do that real quick. I forgot to do that. All right, so I'm gonna cover this up the best I can. There we go. And you might have to use a few pieces of little tape and do a little puzzle. Hey, Erica. All right. And we don't want it to cover up any of the area that we're gonna actually use the ink on. So let's see if this works. Okay. And I'm gonna cover that little spot right there. We don't want any extra little spots. Now, how far up am I? Let me just do a little calculating here. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so I don't feel like it's straight though. It's bothering me. Let me straighten it out a little bit more. It's bothering me that it's not straight. There, that looks better. And then I'm coming up about like two, three fingers from the bottom. And that's pretty good. So I'll know that that's what I'm gonna use as my guideline again. Ink versus chalk paste. No, very different. Hi, Leslie, how are you? Hi, Cindy, how are you? Um, ink versus chalk paste, real quick. Ink is ink. It is literally colored ink. And the only way that you can set it and use, it, uh, use that garment or that t-shirt over and over again and wash it and wear it is by setting it with a heat iron. So like a heat press um, made by Cricut. Um, what are they called? Easy presses, I have one. And, um, or an iron on medium setting. And I can tell you how to do that um, with some parchment paper and about four minutes on one side and four minutes on the other on a medium setting, no steam or anything like that. Parchment on the bottom, parchment on the top. Um, and you heat set it. On chalk paste, our chalk paste will not heat set. It's water soluble. Actually, they're both water soluble. Um, our chalk paste will not heat set. So once you put chalk paste like on a towel or a garment bag or something, you cannot wash it. If any water spills on it, it's gonna run. So you always wanna use ink on any kind of a garment or glass or ceramics, anything that can be heat set either in an oven at 350 degrees or with a uh, heat press machine. So that's why we're using ink because we're gonna heat set these and use them over and over. And we don't wanna use chalk paste on these. You could use chalk paste and just use them as decorative and not ever wash them. Uh, but once you throw them in the wash, it'll wash away. Hi, Beverly, how are you? Welcome. Got it, got it, you got it. Okay, and there's Leslie. Oh, Leslie, you're from Utah. Well, have you been on before, Leslie? I feel like I recognize your name. Where are you from, Beverly? <laughs> Welcome, everybody. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do these tea towels. We're going to use Autumn Skies on one, Pumpkin Pies on the other, and then we're going to use the pumpkin by itself on the third one. So let's get started because it's gonna take a few minutes. I'm going to use, I'm gonna use my gold. I was gonna use black, but let me do the pumpkin first while I think about. It. On the autumn skies and pumpkin pie, should I use gold or should I use black with the papaya? and the green, okay? That's the question. Everybody help me out. Hey, Shelly, how are you? I've been watching lives for, oh, awesome, perfect. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you're all getting in the red ticket drawings. Some of your names I don't see trying to answer the questions at the end. We're gonna do one at the end of this, so hang in there. Sometimes my lives take a little bit of time, but um, I try to hurry as fast as I can. <laughs> all right, so black. Hi, oh, great, Iowa, welcome. Um, so black or gold, which is the, I'm doing papaya. I don't have orange and ink, so I'm going to do papaya with a little bit of almond in there um, for the pumpkin. But I don't know whether I should do autumn skies and pumpkin pies, the wording in black or in shimmer gold. Help me out. All right, so while I'm waiting for you to answer that, I'm going to do my pumpkin and my leaves. 
and get that going. Now your chalk, your um, ink, I have to remember I'm doing ink today. I'll be calling it chalk paste. So the chalk paste is ready to go. You don't put any water in it, any distilled water. You don't have to do anything to it. It is ink and it is 99% ready to go. So, oh, hi, Cindy. How are you? You enjoy watching me. Oh, thank you. You guys are all so sweet. Everybody's so complimentary. I love it. <laughs> Makes me feel good. <laughs> all right. So here we go. I'm just putting down a little bit right on the pumpkin. And I'm not going to get super fancy and do that little twill at the, at the top or anything like that. You don't have to go crazy like that. You'll make yourself crazy trying to get all those little teeny tiny, teeny tiny spots. Make it easy on yourself. We're going to do a couple colors so we don't need to. Now you want to push down a little bit more with ink because you want to make sure that you're getting. Okay, see so this is where... I'm used to turning things so that I can get to it. Hold on. There's a little spot right here and I wanna make sure I don't go off. All right, there we go, I got it. All right, so you wanna clear away your excess. Now the great part about ink is you don't have to worry because you don't, ha you don't have to hurry. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Stephanie, I'll pay you later. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. So that's the pumpkin for this one. And now I'm going to just do the leaves in green. We're not going to go crazy with worrying about... Ugh, these things are so tight. Especially when the stuff dries. All right. Now I'm going to do the leaves in the green. Just give it a little stir. And are you telling me black or gold? What are you guys doing? Make sure that you're helping me out here because I am not sure what my choice is. Let me know black or gold lettering. I kind of feel like gold. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like gold. Hey, Tina. Oh, you got your thing. Yay. Hooray, hooray. Another, another problem solved. Love it. Now if I could just find my girlfriend's order, she ordered a, two or three weeks ago and the order's disappeared. It's nowhere to be found. It's not even on my site. <laughs> and she thought she paid for it. So we're gonna find hers and then we'll be good to go. All right, so there's the green. And all right, so am I doing, yeah, I'm gonna do it in gold. You guys are all saying gold. Hi, Alicia, how are you? Welcome, welcome. So I'm gonna use the gold shimmer. So I'm really gonna to have to push it through because the, on top of the fact that we're doing it on material, I don't want anything to get on these towels. The fact that we're doing it on material, now we have the glitter involved, so we wanna make sure that we're pushing it through and it's gonna go all the way through to the, to the actual towel material. <clears throat> I feel like I'm hoarse today. Do I sound hoarse? I feel like I have a raspy throat. Probably all the crazy fires and the smoke, and I'm not even close to them, but some of you that are really up in it, I don't know how you do it. I know Marcy's up in there, and another gal, Valerie, I don't know if she's on or not, but she's up in all that mess. I don't know how you do it. All right, so I'm clearing away the excess because this stuff is like gold. <laughs> we don't want to waste it. There we go. All right. Oops. Where's my lid? Oh, there it is. All right, so now let me wipe my hands. And I'm going to peel this back slowly to see if I missed any areas. And the great part about the ink is that... I'm gonna pull this through a little better. The great part about the ink is as we pull it back, what if we see something we don't like, we can kind of go over it again. All right, let's see. I'm hoping these come out the way that my, my brain has them being completed. Oh, that's a good choice. All 
OMG. <laughs> OMG. Sorry. I've been doing this for so long now, it seems like forever. And every time I pull the, the transfer, I get surprised. Let me show you. I'm gonna try very carefully not to touch it. Let me dry it for a minute. Let me dry it for a minute. It is gorgeous. So cute. Hi, Dory, how are you? What am I doing? You're asking me what I'm doing, Tina? I'm doing tea towels. <laughs> tea towels with ink. So, it's a little bit sticky, but we're going to be okay. I'm going to fold this and get it out of the way, and I'll show you it before I put it down. Just one sec. Oh, that's so cute. Sorry. <laughs> I get excited. All right, so here we go. What do you think of that? Is that the cutest? It came out perfect. Love, love, love it. So now I'm going to set up the next one and try to get about the same distance, about two and a half fingers. Hey, Valerie, that, I was just talking about you. Cute, right? All right, here we go. So that one's going over there out of the way. Okay, now, if I could find what I did with the rest of them, what do I do with the rest of them? Uh, we have a mystery on our hands. Oh, they fell. Hold on. All right, here we go. So we're gonna do the other side of, I'm gonna flip this. When you use ink, you see how that pumpkin and the green is there? You don't want that on the back of your transfer. So I'm going to use a wipe and try to get that off as much as possible and let that side dry while I use the other side. And then we'll flip it again. All right, so this one, I wanna do it opposite the tag. We don't want the tag involved. So these were um, from like Albertsons or something. I was shopping the other day with my husband and they had them, three of them for like $8, something like that. So it wasn't a fabulous price, but they were handy and I could grab them. So I bought them. You could probably get them a little cheaper online. Yeah, flower sack towel, tea towels, whatever you call them. Isn't that what they call them? Tea towels or flower sacks, whatever. All right. So this one is going to get the other side of the transfer. So this side, this one is going to get the pumpkin pies. Now I'm going to flip this out of my way real quick. And I'm going to remove the tape and tape over the area. I'm going to tape over the area that I just did. So let me do that real quick. And then we're going to do the big one. Hi, Dina. How are you? Are you Dina? Am I saying it right? Hopefully I'm saying it right. People used to butcher my name. Well, they still butcher my name. But I like it. I like to be able to say people's names the right way. <laughs> All right, I want to get that off of that K right there. There we go. 
So we're gonna do a little chalk puzzle here. Hi, Charlotte. A little chalk puzzle. Nope, not chalk puzzle, tape puzzle. All right, I have one little spot here that's not where I want it. Let me cover that better. All right, one more, and then I'm ready to go. So on this one, we're going to put we're gonna put pumpkin pies and the little pumpkin and the little green leaf. And then we're gonna do the big pumpkin on the last one. All right, let me make sure I'm reasonably straight here. All right, here we go. So I did about three fingers from the bottom, approximately two, two and a half, closer to three probably. So we're gonna do pumpkin pies right here. Nope, not straight. Not even a little bit. Hold on while I talk to myself. <laughs> Talk myself into getting this straight. That's good. All right, I like it. Woo. Be careful. Don't spread the ink. All right, so now we're gonna do gold and then orange and then green. Just like we just did, same thing. So let's do the green first. And once we're done, we're gonna, oh no, we're gonna use the green again so we won't close it up. And I just got some green in my, on the edge of my P for pumpkin. That's all right. Now we're gonna use the orange for the other part, for the little pumpkin. This is actually not um, orange, this is papaya. that away it's you so usually have to use your squeegee to clear away oh, we're going to use the green again or the orange again too so i can't close that up let's get these out of the way though all right now where's my squeegee at here's my green one you don't want to get it on the towel now if you're worried about the towel put a um a piece of tape all the way around so that just in case you go off the side, you're gonna hit the towel and not the, um, I mean the tape and not the towel. I thought I had an orange one, but I guess I don't. All right, so I'm just clearing away the excess of those. Okay. Let me clean these off because that way they won't get me. All right, now we're gonna do the pumpkin pies in gold. All right, and this is ink. <clears throat> Excuse me, for those of you that are just joining me, this is ink, not chalk paste. So we don't have to hurry as much because the ink does not dry unless it's, um, unless you use a blow dryer on it or you heat set it. I'm gonna get that with my tool. And that with my tool. And up in here, I'll get the rest of that with my tool. 
And you also don't want to clear away, like I tell you, make sure you clear it all away on, when you're using ink, you want to clear it away, but you don't want to scrape it so much that you literally lift it off. Um, it takes a tiny bit more um, ink than it does chalk paste to actually saturate the material. Okay, I got a tiny bit of orange in the P, but that's okay. These are crafts, so they don't have to be perfect. But so far, knock on wood, they're doing pretty good. I'm liking it. Okay, here we go. All right, I think I got everything. Oh wait, there's a little tiny spot in the green that I see that I didn't get. There we go. All right, let's pull this one. That's so cute. I can see the other ones right over there. It's so cute. All right, let's hope this one comes out just as well. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. Be sure to share. Be sure to sprinkle. Oops. Be sure to sprinkle to your family and friends. And also in the comments, write that you sprinkled because that's how you get red tickets in the drawing. Um, for sprinkling and then for being one of the people who answers the trivia or word game question correctly. So three people will get some tickets in the drawing. All right, here we go. Let's pull this one and see how this one came out. Perfect. Yay. Exactly how I wanted it to. Let me dry it. Oh, these are going to be cute. I'm Rosalinda. How are you? I already said hi to Charlotte. <laughs> and Andrea. Wait till you see it up close. <laughs> so you can help the ink along by hitting it with the blow dryer for a little bit, but you do have to heat set them and you do have to let them sit. Um, I let them sit till the next day just to make sure that they're really dry. And now let me show you this one. And I just got gold on my hand. Let me get that off really quick before I touch the towels. I just felt it. <laughs> All right, let me close this up. Hold on. I want to get rid of this stuff so I don't get chalk paste on me. Or there's one. That goes, uh, that one doesn't go. And I think I'm good. This goes. Okay. There, now I can show you. How cute is that? So we have So this is with one of our our um, A size transfers. They're $9.99. So I use the top section, Autumn Skies, and then there's an and sign. And the other part of it is says pumpkin pies. So you can use this transfer even though it's just a little whatever size they are, five by seven or whatever, you can use it in lots of different ways. So there's the two, there's one, and there's two. 
And these are coming out really cute. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the pumpkin from our beware, I mean our um, harvest sign. And there's gonna be no words on this one, just a green, or the, it's kind of wheat. So maybe I'll do that in gold. I might do that in gold. Cause it's, it's really wheat, it's not, um, it's not a leaf. Let's see, and this one, sorry guys. I'm covering you up here. Okay, so I want to use the other end and wipe this off so that I don't get any more ink on my... So now I'm actually going to do the stem of the pumpkin and the little, whatever that thing is called that comes off the stem. <laughs> I don't know the word for it. Welcome, oh hey. Oh hey, Elle. How you doing? All right. So now I'm going to use, this is wheat. So I think I'm going to do this in gold instead of, is it a vine? Okay, yeah, it's the vine that goes choo, 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 like that. I'm doing great. Today has been nice. It's my day off from babysitting, so I got some stuff done. Um, so I'm going to do this in gold. I'm gonna put it underneath here at the bottom, kind of at an angle a little bit, just a hair. And then I'm gonna put our pumpkin. And this is our pumpkin. And remember, when you use material, t-shirts and things like that, you do not fuzz your transfers. You want them to be as sticky as you can possibly get them. Okay, so we're gonna put this pumpkin guy right here and I'm gonna move this over let me get this one on this part first so get the towel straight get the pumpkin straight nope nope you can tell when it's not straight there we go there we go all right, so there's that. And then this is just gonna go kind of at an angle right below it. Let me see. My husband's watching. Well, I don't know if he is really. No, this is still not straight. There we go. That's what I want right there. We're gonna do the um, the wheat first, and then we'll do the pumpkin. I think that's gonna be just fine. So we wanna make sure we press it down. <laughs> Everybody knows Dave, hi Dave. <laughs> A lot of times he doesn't listen. He just gets the notification and then uh, clicks on and then clicks off. 90% of the time he doesn't even get all of your hellos. Sometimes he does, but not very often. <laughs> I'm just going to get some of this ink out of here. Okay, we're done with that one. Close this one up. You don't want to set these things out for too, too long. Thanks for sprinkling. Make sure you you let me know when you sprinkled and make sure it goes through because sometimes it doesn't register and then I don't know that you actually sprinkled. All right, so there's that, clean hands. These are gonna be so cute. All right, so now, oh, I need the gold, I lied. All right, so we're gonna do the wheat in gold Hey, Dia, how are you? Oh, and Lanny, how many are you? I mean, this is my last one, just three. All right, so we're gonna use the gold for the wheat. 
Well, I'm gonna get a clean one because that is dirty. So we're gonna just use our squeegee and push through with a little bit of pressure so that it gets into the um, into the fibers. We want it. We want it in there so it, the color comes out well. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Let me peel that and make sure that we're good. Ugh. Time out. All right, hopefully I can save this. My transfer got in the way. There we go. All right, now, where am I gonna put this so it's out of the way? Now, I am gonna dry this to make sure that the transfer that I set on it doesn't um, ruin the, the... I don't wanna, you don't wanna get heat on your transfers. They don't like heat. be good that's good enough that I can set the pumpkin back down on it and be good to go Ooh, not sticking that is not good we want it to stick now our transfers are heat sensitive to your fingers, so that will help get it. If it doesn't want to stick, then I'll clean it and re and dry it and restick it down. But I think I'm pretty good. We used this transfer a lot the other day. Hope it doesn't bleed. Okay. This is a big screen area, so that's where you might have a little problem. Now, you don't want to put too much. Let me do the top first. I'm going to do the top in gold. Just this little thing right here. Actually, I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do that in gold. Should I do it in green? Maybe I'll do it in green, since there's no green on this one. I'll do it in green. Change my mind. Change it to my mind. Welcome, everybody. I know I have my head down. I'm just trying to get these done. I don't want to. I'm not ignoring you, I promise. Welcome. Those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Maddie. And I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And we're working on the last towel of the day here. And this is our detail tool, which is even smaller than our multi-tool to get into these little small spaces that you don't wanna get chalk paste other places. So this tool is fabulous. Gets those little tiny places that you can't get to with your squeegee or your multi-tool. All right, so you always wanna make sure that you clear away the excess as best you can. What happened to my squeegee? We'll use this one. 
So let's try to get that cleared away. There we go. And we don't have to worry about ink too, too much um, drying on us because the ink doesn't dry as fast as the chalk paste. I feel like I have ink on my arms or something. Okay, now we're going to say a prayer over the pumpkin because it's not sticking very well. And I'm going to put down some papaya. Not too much. We don't want to give it an excuse to bleed. <clears throat> and I'm going to hit it with just a tiny bit of almond to try to get a little variance of color in the papaya. Like a swirly kind of thing. But just very little. There. See how that looks. I want it to be mostly papaya. All right, let me get my squeegee. Okay, everybody cross your fingers. We don't get a bleed on this one. All right, I'm just gonna go nice and easy. Okay, we got a little corner over here. <clears throat> All right. Cross your fingers. All right, let's clear that. Here we go. Changed my mind. <laughs> All right. Please don't bleed. Please don't bleed. Oh, no problem. That is cute. Let me dry it. These came out perfect. Okay, so they are, like the other ones, they are sticky. Let me close all this. We are done with the ink. Let's get it all out of the way. glad I went with the gold. All of you that said gold, nice job. All right, let me make sure my computer's on. I will show you that in just one sec. All this stuff out of the way. There we go. All right. Let's 
So I am going to let these set overnight just on a table somewhere out of the way. Ta-da! That's not a very good full job. There we go. So there's this one. And then here is this one. So here's all the three. So one, two, and three. So pumpkin pies, autumn skies, and the pumpkin. So I'll show them one more time. Autumn skies, pumpkin pies, And the pumpkin. These came out better than I thought they were going to. I wasn't sure what I was going to do on these towels, but I think we hit this one out of the park. So that's that one. All right. So I'm going to just leave them, like I said, so that they can sort of really dry. And then tomorrow I will heat set them. Then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might give them away. So stay tuned. We'll see. I'm just going to let those chill over there. All right. So let's do our trivia. I'll put this back up a little bit. Let's do It's actually not trivia. It's a word game. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to tell you a word. So I would say to you, house, bark, and leash. And you would say to me, dog. So dog, leash, dog, house, and dog, bark. The first person that gets the answer right gets five tickets into our little bucket here. And the second and third person that get it right it gets um, three tickets into the drawing. So we collect red tickets all week, and then we do a drawing every Monday night, and then we do a big drawing at the end of the month with all the tickets for the whole month. All right, so the word is chocolate, dog, and rod, R-O-D. Chocolate, dog, and rod. And it's the way that I see you on the screen. Chocolate, rod, dog, and rod. Chocolate, dog, and rod, R-O-D. What's the word that goes with those three words? Chocolate, dog, and rod, R-O-D. <clears throat> There's one. One, two, three, Kimmy. Five tickets. Teresa, three tickets. And Shauna, three tickets. Kimmy, five. Teresa, three. And Shauna, three. Yes, Shauna, three. The answer was hot dog, hot rod, and hot chocolate. Hold on. Let me write this down so I don't forget. Okay, guys. So you're all going to get tickets for sprinkling. Make sure you put sprinkling in the comments, even if you're watching the replay. And if you would all do me a favor and go try on YouTube to find Chalk and Craft with Maddie J. I'm trying to find how I get the link so I can send it to you. I would love for you to, to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I have all my videos up there and some of my smaller videos and things like that. All these videos that I do. So I would love it if you are YouTube person to subscribe to my YouTube channel, YouTube channel, <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow night. The drawings are every Monday, so on Monday I pick two people out of this bucket, and then um, I they spin the wheel for prizes. Then all those tickets go into, a, um, into this fabulous Ziploc bag. <laughs> So this is all the tickets from the last two weeks. Um, and so once I pick the two people out, all the tickets go in here. And then at the end of the month, you want to join my VIP group. Because in my VIP group, 
is pictures of all the bundles that I give away because I can't tell you what they are on this business page. Um, so they're called mystery prizes. But if you go, if you're a member of my VIP group, you'll be able to see what they are um, and what I'm giving away that day. So the drawing is usually on the last day of the month and it's all the tickets that are in here. And you do have to be present to win. If I call your name and you're not on the live, then I have to pass you by. So set your alarm, uh, set your notifications. Join me live. I'm alive six nights a week. And I will see you all tomorrow night. Um, tomorrow night is Wednesday. And I'll see you at 730. And you all have a great rest of the night. And I love this project. I think it came out really cool. And we used two um, transfers, Autumn Skies and Pumpkin Pies. And we used the pumpkin out of the Harvest Sign um, transfer. So we, and we, you saw what we used, ink, not paste. All right, so y'all have a great night and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.